Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Uh, welcome uh, grade 4 for today's home science lesson. I hope uh, you are doing fine wherever you are. Now, uh, today's lesson is a very interesting lesson. It is a continuation of where we stopped uh, last time. Now, if uh, somebody can remind us, what were we learning uh, the last time we had a home science lesson? Aha, uh -huh, very good. We were learning, we were learning about uh, the materials that are used to make our shoes. Materials that are used to make our shoes. The shoes that we wear. And I'm sure uh, from um, morning until now, or even now, you are, you are having shoes uh, on your feet. Now, which are some of the materials that you mentioned uh, that are used to uh, make shoes? Uh -huh. We have the canvas material, we have the canvas, we have shoes that are made of canvas, very good. Another material, yes, we have the leather, the leather and the leather, we say we get it from animals, animals such as cows, very good, we have camels, all these uh, animals give us leather. Any other material you can remember? Any other material? Yes, we also say that we make uh, shoes from uh, plastic. There are shoes that are made from uh, plastic. Any other, any other material? Yes, there is a material that I told you is called uh, the foam material. The foam material is used also to make uh, shoes. Now, at one time or the other, after putting on the shoes, uh, uh, they become uh, dirty. They become dirty. And it is important, once they become dirty, you have to clean them. You have to clean them. Now, there are many reasons why your shoes can become dirty. One, it can be rainy, therefore, the shoes become muddy. They become muddy. And once they become muddy, it will be very wrong for you to wear them the next day. Uh, with uh, ha still having mud. Uh, another uh, reason, it may, be, it may be very sunny, it may be very hot, uh, and there's a lot of dust. So our shoes uh, become dusty. Our shoes also become dusty. And we wouldn't want uh, to put them on the next day, whether we are going to work, whether we are going to school, uh, when they are still uh, uh, dirty. Uh, some other reason is that uh, some of us sweat very much they sweat very much and therefore we need to clean our shoes we need to clean our shoes now uh, there are uh, different uh, materials that are used to clean different types of shoes now depending on the shoe that you have depending on the shoe that you have uh, it is important that you use the right material uh, to clean it uh, for example, when uh, uh, we have uh, what you call the canvas shoes, the canvas. Now the canvas, we say they are made from cloth, from cloth material, material, material. They are made from cloth material. So when it comes to the, the, the canvas shoes, what will be the best, uh, the best uh, material to clean them? What will be the best material? Aha, very good. We will require a brush, a brush, and not just uh, uh, any other brush, but a soft, a softer scrubbing, a softer scrubbing brush, a softer scrubbing brush, which you are aware by when you use, when you use the softer scrubbing brush as an example that is here with me, when you use it, you will not spoil, you will not tear the cloth, you will not tear uh, the cloth that has been used uh, to do what? Uh, to make uh, this shoe of yours. Now we also have uh, 
uh, the leather shoes, the leather shoes, the leather shoes, uh -huh, which are some of uh, the material that will be used to, to clean them. Uh -huh, very good. A piece of cloth. A piece, a piece of cloth. A piece of cloth. Yes, a piece of cloth will be very nice. It will be very good when you use a piece of cloth to, first of all, wipe. First of all, wipe if it is the dust, if the, 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 the shoe has a lot of dust, you wipe it, you wipe it, and the cloth should be dry. Remember, it is important that uh, we keep uh, the leather dry so that it doesn't uh, get spoiled. So, you need to use a dry piece of cloth to wipe off the dust. And then after that, after you have wiped off the dust, because you need to maintain the color of the leather shoe, you can use a polish, polish, polish. We have different types of polish with us. So therefore, it is your choice. It is your choice. You decide the type of polish that you want to use when you are uh, cleaning your shoes. And to apply polish, you need a brush. You need a, a brush so that uh, you can apply the, 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 sh the shoe polisher in an even manner. You need a polishing brush. An example is what you can see here. There are also other examples of brushes in your books, in your textbooks. Now, uh, also, at times uh, the shoes become dirty or very muddy. They become very muddy, especially the gambles that you wear during uh, the rainy season so they end up being muddy and uh, you need to scrub you need to scrub off you need to scrub uh -huh, the mud you need to scrub the mud now what will you use to scrub the mud what will you use to scrub the mud uh -huh, very good somebody says you can use a spoon okay but a spoon is not for that purpose now, the most uh, important uh, material you can use uh, is a stick. You can get a stick, a stick, and especially the bottom part of it, you use the stick to scrub off the mud. You scrub off the mud. And once the mud is uh, scrubbed off, you now can clean uh, the, the gum boots uh, or the shoes uh, with uh, water. You wipe them and you dry them. Uh, these uh, remember gambles are usually made of plastic and therefore once you dip them in water uh, there is no big problem they won't get spoiled because that is uh, their purpose so therefore uh, there are other cleaning materials that uh, we can come up with so I would like you to find out uh, two or three three find out three other find out three other cleaning materials that you can use on our shoes and once you do that you write them down in your books and next time we meet you shall tell me which these materials are otherwise have a good time continue cleaning your shoes practicing how to clean your shoes and using the correct material to clean your shoes have a good time thank you